Welcome to this video on Pyronis disease. We'll be talking about what it is and who does it affect. My name is Dr. Ryan Flanagan. I'm a urologist and male reproductive and sexual medicine expert. Pyronis disease is a disorder of abnormal scar formation, termed a plaque, that happens within the layer that wraps around the erection chambers. This is called the tunica albuginea of the penis. This plaque is sometimes palpable, meaning that you can feel it with your fingers. It feels as a firm rope or nodule within the penis. And this plaque can result in penile shape changes. This can be a curvature most commonly. It can also result in indentations, hourglass deformities where it narrows or wastes on both sides. And it can also impact erectile function as well. So specifically, what penile changes can occur? The changes occur when you get an erection. So most of these changes you won't see at all when the penis is soft in a flaccid resting state. But when you get an erection, all of these changes to shape might occur. So with respect to curvature, it's by far the most co common uh, shape change that most men note. Upward curve is the most common within this and happens in about 72% of men. Downward curve, happens in about 17%, and left or right curve happens in about 11% of men with pyronis disease. Some men will also have an indentation, so a notch coming out from one side uh, or the top or the bottom. An hourglass deformity is something that we refer to when there's narrowing on both sides, not just on one side, and it looks like an hourglass shape or uh, a narrow waisting. Distal tapering is another term we use that refers to when the girth or the diameter of the penis narrows and it typically happens towards the end of the penis. Most men experience some degree of penile shortening and when we look at some of the medical studies, about 80% of men are reporting this. And some degree of erectile dysfunction are reported in somewhere between 20 and 50% of men that have penile curvature or Pyronis disease. So what causes Pyronis disease? It's not something that we fully have scientifically vetted, but what we believe is that there's some degree of injury to that outer casing of the penis called the tunica albuginea. So this is the layer that adds strength and contains the erection chambers. So after there's a small injury here, we get some healing process with increased fibrinogen. It's a molecule that is involved in this process. We get some local inflammation, perhaps some immune cells coming in and signaling the repair. However, some of the cells that are typically there, they're called fibroblasts and they produce some of these uh, components and structures. They get converted to a different cell state called myofibroblasts. And myofibroblasts exist in, in the penis and other parts of the body. But in this scenario, these produce excess amounts of collagen and deposition. So this is where you get the thickening and the plaque formation. How does this impact the shape of the penis? Now, when we get a normal erection, blood goes into the penis, the muscle within the penis expands and it traps this blood in, and the penis gets both longer and it gets wider. So if you look at the top image, the solid yellow bar represents the flaccid penis, and then the translucent bar that expands both in length and width represents the erect penis. Now, when we have a plaque in the situation of Pyronis disease, the example on the bottom, we see that the plaque is on the top of the penis for this example. So as the penis expands and it gets longer and wider, that top section where the plaque exists no longer has the ability to expand and be elastic. That elasticity has been lost and ultimately this results in it being shorter than the bottom side. So as the penis fills up with blood and expands, that top side prevents the top from expanding as much as the bottom. And as such, the bottom side pushes the, the bottom portion of the penis around the corner and you have a curve. So who gets Pyronis disease? It's more common in men as we age. So looking at the medical studies, it's most common in men over the age of 50, but if we look at each decade of life, the chance of getting Pyronis disease does increase slightly over time. As such, the risk factors are increasing age, Caucasian ethnicity, men with diabetes, and men with penile trauma. This could be a buckling injury or a full-blown penile fracture. Some of the associations include Dupuytren's contractures, which is a scarring of the finger 
where you can't fully extend your finger uh, due to the, the scarring and nodule on the tendon. Erectile dysfunction is associated about a quarter to over half of uh, scenarios with Pyronis disease. And men with Pyronis often have a lot of emotional distress and impacts over 80% of men. Depression has also been found in nearly half of the men that have been found to have Pyronis disease. So this is something that if you're in this scenario, you certainly want to talk to your family doctor about and get connected with the right people to ensure you're looking after yourself. The final association that we're aware of is something called letter host disease. Basically, it's the same process of collagen deposition and this plaque formation within the tendons on the bottom of the foot. So once somebody notices that they have a change to the shape of their penis, what's the natural course? We often refer to this as two different phases. There's an acute phase, which is the early period when things are still dynamic, and there's the chronic phase after things have settled out. So in the acute phase, this includes the new onset of symptoms. In some cases, this happens overnight. New curve, you didn't see it yesterday, you wake up today, and, and now there's a curve with your erection. For other men, this may happen a little bit more gradually over days, weeks, or months. In this acute phase, that's when we tend to see the changes in the curve or other shape changes, deformities to the penis. And some men are experiencing penile pain with erections. In the acute phase, those cells called the myofibroblasts, they're still producing collagen and the plaque is still dynamic and evolving over time. However, when we arrive at the chronic phase, we typically define this as when there's been at least six months with no other changes to the penis whatsoever. So we've had the change, we've had the curve or whatever shape change that you've observed, and this is now stabilized and we don't see anything for six months. Now we're in the chronic phase. In this phase, we typically don't have any pain with erections. And what we see at this point in time is typically what we would expect to move forward with. So once we start noticing changes, what can we expect with respect to, is this gonna get worse? Is it gonna stay the same? Or is it gonna get a little bit better? So in this particular study in about 246 men, they followed them for about 14 and a half months. So just over a year. What they found was in about 40% of these men, after they identified the changes to the penis, there was no additional changes. In 12% of men that were very fortunate, they noticed some improvement in the curve or deformity that they initially identified. But unfortunately, about 48% had continued worsening of the curve or other penile deformity in that 14 month period. From other studies, we recognize that there's a huge need to increase the awareness for Pyronis disease. Most men that are experiencing symptoms of Pyronis disease aren't seen a physician or healthcare provider. In two studies that provided surveys to men asking questions about their erections, if they had any changes to penile curvature or other shape changes or deformities, what they found was about between 12 and 13% of men reported symptoms that would be consistent with the diagnosis of Pyronis disease. But when we asked those same men who had presented to a physician to seek assessment or treatment, less than 1% of this population actually went and had physician assessments. So there's a huge discrepancy between the number of men out there with likely Pyronis disease and those that are actually going and seeking physician assessment. So in summary, Pyronis disease may affect upwards of about 13% of men, which makes this quite common. Pyronis disease may result in penile curvature, indentations and shortening, as well as erectile dysfunction. Treatment options involve injections, either verapamil or collagenase in most cases, with or without penile traction therapy, or there's several different surgical corrective options, plication surgery, plaque incision grafting, and in some cases, a penile implant. It's best to discuss your treatment options with your urologist that has an expertise in Pyronis disease that can offer you the full gamut of investigations as well as treatment options, surgical and non-surgical. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like more information, feel free to visit my website or the YouTube channel listed here and my Twitter handle below. Thanks very much.